Whoa, whoa, whoa. Slow down, dog. Now, how would you know what you need? I'm a car expert. Well, I know a little bit about cars. Listen, if I want advice on Gucci handbags, I'll come to you. If you want car advice, you come to me. Hello, everyone. It's Jack here. Welcome to our channel. As usual, I will teach you six vocabulary words from dialogue in a real life story video. Today's real life story is about a woman's experience at a car mechanic's shop. Before we watch the video, let's take a look at the words. The first word is to inflate. Next are to screw something up, to undermine, to overcharge, and to brag about. The final word is reputation. Okay, let's watch the video. Mark, check her out. Hmm, I can't wait to get my hands on that. Harry, that's a customer. What I meant is, I can't wait to get my hands on her money. Look at her designer clothes. Nice car, probably dumb. Hey, that's not cool. Hi, guys. I need an oil change and some spark plugs. Yeah, sure. We'd be happy to help you with that. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Slow down, dog. Now, how would you know what you need? I'm a car expert. Well, I know a little bit about cars. Listen, if I want advice on Gucci handbags, I'll come to you. If you want car advice, you come to me. John can be a little rough around the edges, but, you know, he really knows about cars. Yeah. Okay, then, thanks. You're in good hands with John there. Is there anything I can do to your make time here more enjoyable? Thank you. I appreciate it. You're welcome. What are you doing just standing there? Get to work. Yeah, yeah, right away. Hey, boys. Hey, Mr. Rock. How about two superstar boys? Great. I gotta tell you, it's gonna be hard to choose one of you for the shop manager promotion. But I'm picking today. Hey, Eric, why don't I save you the trouble of deciding? Okay, I accept the position. What? We all know it's going to be me. Not so fast, John. I have to review all of last month's sales performances. In the meantime, take care of the customer. Oh, we will do, boss. And you don't screw it up. I already know what I'm going to do with that promotion money. What do you mean? Mr. Rock hasn't decided yet. Wake up, loser. My numbers are just way better than yours. You just don't hustle like I do. Well, I don't inflate repair bills and force people to buy things they don't need. I guess we just do things a little differently. Yeah, you can say that again. Unlike you, I play to win. So, how are things looking? Honestly, babe. Babe? The spark plugs are the least of your worries. You need a new camshaft. Excuse me? A camshaft. That's part of your car. John, can I talk to you for a second? Mark, why don't you give me a coffee? I'm busy with a customer. I know what a camshaft is, I just... Oh, good for you. So, you watched the YouTube video and now you just know it all. That's not it. I literally had it replaced like, well... It's a piece of junk made in China. Whoever sold that to you completely ripped you off. Okay, so what is it going to cost me? Well, normally I'd have to order it, but luckily I just so happen to have the part you need in the back. It'll run you about $2,000. What? $2,000 for a camshaft? That's insane. Hey, Mark, I need your opinion on something. Can I talk to you out back for a second? Don't go anywhere. I'll be right back. Stay in your lane and stop undermining me. That promotion is mine. You hear me? And you think the best way of running the shop is by cheating our customers? What did you say? 
You and I know damn well there's nothing wrong with that camshaft. Is that so? But why don't you prove it then? You literally bragged about how you were going to take money from her because she's a woman. When I get that promotion, you're going to fall in line or I'm going to get rid of you. I won't have to put up with your nagging much longer. What the hell do you think you're doing it? You can't do that! Why not? This is my car, and the camshaft looks good to me. Good as new. Well, how the hell would you know? There's a hairline crack. It's too small for you to see. You need to be an expert like me. Oh, I see. How stupid of me. I can take a look at it. Give you a second opinion. Get lost, Mark. She's my customer. Isn't the customer always right? Yes, I would love for you to take a look at it. There's no point. He's less experienced than me. And besides, you're just a woman who knows nothing about cars. You know what? Forget it. Take your stupid car out of my shop. Well, technically, this is not your shop. Say it again? Remember when I said I learned a little something about cars? I didn't pick it up off a YouTube video. Look, babe, I don't care. I learned it from my dad. Well, clearly your dad knows nothing about cars. Hi, Meg. Hi, Dad. What? He's your dad? Boy's taking good care of you. So one of them has been trying really hard to be helpful, but the other one is trying to overcharge me. Hey, wait, that's not true. I've gotten a lot of complaints from customers about you, John. Inflated bills, sexist behavior, and flat-out lies to customers. About me? No way. I even had to get Megan involved to get to the bottom of this. Mark tried really hard to be helpful, but John wouldn't let him. Oh, and get this. John tried to sell me a camshaft for $2,000, even though mine was perfectly fine. That seals it. Mark, promotion's yours. Congratulations. Thank you so much, Eric. I won't let you down. Oh, come on. That's unfair. You don't have to worry about that anymore, because you're fired. And what did you call me, young dumb? And... So now we have a lot of work to do to restore the damage John has done to my father's reputation, and you're just the guy for it. What are you still doing here? Get back to work. Well, I don't inflate repair bills. To inflate, it means to fill something with air or to make the price or value of something higher than is fair. The examples. He inflated the balloons with helium. Hotels often inflate prices in summer. And you don't screw it up. To screw something up. It means to make a mistake or to do something stupid. The examples? You'd better not screw up this time. Oh, I totally screwed up on the chemistry exam. Stay in your lane and stop undermining me. To undermine. It means to gradually make someone or something less strong or effective. The examples. Criticism just undermines their confidence. The country's economic position has been seriously undermined by this affair. You literally bragged about how you were going to take money from her because... To brag about, it means to constantly talk about how good or better than others someone is. The examples... She's always bragging about how much money she makes. She likes to brag about how her son is a doctor. The other one is trying to overcharge me. To overcharge? It means to make someone pay more than the actual price for something. The examples. The taxi driver had overcharged us by $20. They were being overcharged for cheap beer. So now we have a lot of work to do to restore the damage John has done to my father's reputation. Reputation. 
It means what people think of someone or something. The examples? The hotel has a good reputation. She has the reputation of being a good doctor. Well, that's it. I hope you can start using these words. Hit the thumbs up if you liked our video. Make sure you subscribe to continue to improve your vocab. Thanks for watching. See you later.